Hey everyone, it's Michael from Chess Lifestyle and today I wanted to show with you a new book I've started reading. It won the ECF Best Book of the Year in 2018 and that book is Under the Surface by Jan Marcos. So the reason why I'm bringing up this book is because I've honestly only read one chapter and it's really written in a very unique style and it's a very engaging style as well so so far it's been an absolute pleasure to read that first chapter and essentially the book is like a log of all of Jan Marx's ideas as a chess player as he's grown to become a grandmaster and he does a really good job of turning a lot of these grandmaster concepts into very playful descriptions that anyone is able to read and appreciate. So online uh, you are able to read the preface and uh, part of a uh, sample chapter but what you don't get to read is the forward and since I've got the book I wanted to read that out to you because I thought it was a really great intro to the book and yeah, I hope it can convince you that this is definitely a book you should look into. So, yeah, um, enjoy the read through. Forward by GM Flastamil Babula. Take a deep breath, we are about to begin. It seems to me that we live in hasty times. We want to achieve everything quickly, or even better, immediately. In order to reach our target as soon as possible, we often take somebody else's idea or hypothesis as fact without understanding its deeper context. We simply accept it. We may know a given thing and be aware that it is right, but if we haven't personally touched it or experienced it, then we haven't fully understood it. In other words, we have a tendency towards superficiality. However, there is a huge difference between knowing and understanding. Therefore, we build on bad foundations and there cannot be a good structure built on bad foundations. In addition, Every person is different, everybody is unique. A road which one person has travelled might not be the right way for somebody else. It cannot simply be copied, though it might be used as an inspiration while searching for a direction. I consider personal knowledge to be the only way that leads to true awareness and understanding. I think that the above is applicable also in the world of chess. What is the good of knowing a book line of an opening by heart if I don't understand the idea of the given opening and I don't understand the meaning of the individual moves? I can clearly remember one game from the beginning of my chess career in which I played an opening line I had learned, but because I didn't understand it at all what was going on in the position, I quickly lost the game. As a similar example, nowadays there is a bad habit among players of relying on computer analysis, again without understanding the meaning. However, you can achieve only short-lived success with that attitude, there are no benefits from a broader perspective, and that's why I reject it. Of course, a computer can be a good advisor, but it certainly should not be our master. It should not think instead of us. That leads only towards laziness and superficiality. I have a great deal of empathy for the book you are about to begin to read, because it is not superficial at all. It goes to the heart of the matter, beneath the surface. I can see one dimension of its title in this. The second can be found in the fact that it gives you opportunity to observe the real thoughts of a chess grandmaster during a game. This is so much more than just the moves that were made, which are visible on the surface. I have known the author Jan Marcos since his adolescence, and I appreciate him not only as a strong chess player, but also as a special person. I always like to hear his opinion on any subject, because I consider him to be a keen observer, and not only in chess. Moreover, he can put his observations into context, and this ability shines from every single page of this book. If I am asked to classify this book thematically, I find it difficult, because you can find practically everything in it. Opening, middle game and end game, strategy and tactics, computer and correspondence chess, statistics as well as an aesthetic view of chess. This book cannot be called a textbook. I would say it is something like a travelogue, a description of a journey of discovery which the author himself has travelled or rather, an overview of the findings he discovered during the journey, which is mostly evident in the chapters dedicated to strategy, some of which completely thrilled me. Here, the author, with his original point of view of the things he has experienced, often reveals some completely new connections, which reminds me a little of the innovative approach of Nimzovich. Overall, this book is very readable. You won't come across dull scientific passages, it is written in the author's unique style, in a balanced combination of a philosophical view and humour, with a positive feel to it. 
The author demonstrates his knowledge with clear chess examples and to facilitate the reader's understanding, he uses parallels from everyday life, which I consider to be very accurate. In this book, he writes about everything openly and sincerely and doesn't hide or fake anything. You can sense from the book that he loves chess and at the same time, also his humility to its laws. My wish is for all readers to experience the pleasure of learning. Once again, I would like to remind you that if you really want to take full advantage of the knowledge in this book, you should actively experience it in the spirit of a well-known trust, but verify. Because for each of us, the most convincing evidence is our own. GM Blastomil Babula. Oh, and one more thing. Um, so I'm actually partaking in a play next week and I haven't done any acting like since like primary school. So I've been doing a lot of reading, um, like trying to, I don't know, read longer pieces of texts. I think. <laughs> so this kind of ties in with my last week of just trying to read things out loud without coming across dull and boring. <laughs>